Um, it's just a quick video really I've, I've realized that in producing the, all this poker content I'm playing on GG poker primarily and it's it's worth taking a little bit of time to set up the app um, of course you can't just jump in and play but I found that with you know, spend five ten minutes configuring it makes for a better experience primarily playing late at night I play on mobile because I do it from my bed but in producing some content um, it'd be nice to be using the streamer mode which the app has built in so whilst I've gone into the settings to configure that I've noticed some things that are worthwhile bringing to your attention so, um, you can see here on, on my screen, the streamer mode is, um, when it's turned on, it, it has this window that, when you're in the tables, has options like hide your balance. Normally, you would see underneath that cashier chip, uh, my balance, but because I've got streamer mode on, that is turned off. Um, again, hiding your whole cards, they appear in a separate window. So you don't have to put that in your video um, but what I wanted to talk about is it's worthwhile configuring your bet buttons in the settings I've mentioned that before but one thing that I haven't discussed is my recommended settings for your hotkeys especially if you're a multi tabler whether it's tournaments or cash games it takes time to move the mouse about and if you've got four eight 12, 16 tables open on a big monitor that's a lot of moving the mouse and clicking whereas if you enable automatic table switching and hotkeys then instead of moving the mouse clicking moving the mouse clicking you just pressing a key so I've got my F keys F1 to 3 for fold check and bet um, to select a bet amount just quickly go to the betting there's my buttons so let's say we're pre-flop I'm under the gun opening bet two big blind three big blind four big blind button four of the pot can change these so let's say my standard opening is two and a half and we'll leave the rest the same we apply that so go back to our hotkeys control one would select that two and a half and then I would hit the F key to place that bet. However, Alt 1 will select that two and a half big blind and bet it in one action. Uh, so if we're playing Russian cash, I've got spacebar for a new hand. Nice and easy, big button at the front. You want that fast paced action, whack the spacebar, new hand, new hand, new hand. So in the functions part of the hotkeys, I've got tab for switching between um, chip display, whether I want it shown in blinds or chips. If you don't have that option turned on, it's not going to work. Um, to, to be able to switch between the numerical figure or the figure in blinds, you need to turn on switch chip display and then you would select your alternative unit and then you can switch back at any time. You, you either click on the name of your, your own avatar and it will switch between blinds and dollars or blinds and tournament chips. But if this isn't turned on, you won't be able to switch. So it's worthwhile turning on even if you normally keep it in dollars anyway because you can then switch between the two. So that's what my tab is. Straddle, Control S. You, you notice here there's a theme, the, the, the initial letter, so if I want to straddle... Control is doing 
most of these functions and if there's an alternative I've got that on alt. Intuitive, makes sense. Don't need to think about these things, I want to move table, control M. I want to tile my tables or cascade them, control T or C. Sit out, X or control X for the next blind. Next hand is just X. Rabbit hunt or um, saves having to click on the cards if you're a person that likes to chase the rabbit but doesn't have it turned on automatically. Time bank, control space. So space to um, next hand, control space, activate my time bank. That was turned on automatically for a while until I got more than one disconnect in a row and my time bank disappeared because I had it and if it's turned on for whenever you've got money in the pot and that includes the antis then your time bank will activate whenever you're not there if you've been disconnected but the software hasn't detected you disconnected yet you have your uh, your connection has not yet timed out your time bank will activate I had a minute in a time bank came back it's three seconds what the hell so I now have it that I want to activate that myself it's a toss-up between running the risk of losing a good hand like aces but you know how many times do they come around compared to playing on mobile and dropping quite regularly the app is not the most reliable compared to other poker apps GG's network connection is to be honest piss poor if there was one area I wish they would work on it's the net code but anyway um, hand history control H add chips control plus which is also the easiest thing then we've got finally uh, cash out shift 4 and decline a cash out control D D for decline run it once 1 run it twice 2 run it 3 times 3 makes sense left right card the arrow keys show both cards up so there we go guys I hope that um, is, is useful for you I do have this configuration on a github page um, for easy reference so if I can have this open in a in a browser and then I can refer to it in case I forget things but it means I can share this configuration with you too um, I'll post the link in the description please if you like the video please subscribe and obviously click like um, for more content whether it be poker or music and um, before I go uh, as I logged into GG today they have posted this um, promotion so uh, 15th to the 15th so for the next 30 days of the Christmas period they are having a winter giveaway which starts off with uh, a holiday free roll new year 1 million guaranteed biggest free roll ever 20th to the 1st of January um, okay is that a series of free rolls not sure but worth looking at um, they're giving away 4 million bonus 10% uh, more value to your tournaments so what what's that a thousand guarantees gonna be 1100 details in the tournament info but they'll they've guaranteed an, an extra 10% and then there's a series of signature events so we've got a mystery day a Christmas mystery bounty a million guaranteed 125 buy-in I mean these are worthwhile and especially if you keep an eye on the field and there's not enough registrations yet so that guarantee is is an overlay and the software actually tells you whether there's an overlay and okay the, the registration windows are quite long so inevitably they, they do kind of reach their guarantee but you know there's, there's going to be some value especially in the kind of hours where it's not as busy there's definitely some value to be picked up uh, $54 buy in Omaholic if you like the Omaha New Year Bash again it's a bounty um, they're really pushing the PKOs uh, recently it's GG and it's a great format you know you don't need to reach the money to win money um, every time you bust a player you get the bounty and build your own 
which then makes more people more likely to go in heads up against you because that your bounty's gotten bigger and so it grows and, and you know it becomes more profitable to to make marginal calls the bigger the bounty gets $250 buy-in winter series grand final 2 million 24,000 guarantee so again we have more tournaments uh, Christmas Day uh, global millions January 7th uh, as we bring in the new year uh, a lot a lot of stuff this holiday and the full schedule from the 12th to the 15th of December so that's the next few days it, well today and tomorrow really it's the 14th today so um, winter is coming sounds like Game of Thrones um, yeah not more I can say really have a look Brace yourselves for exciting year-end giveaways, exclusive promotions to celebrate the new year. Okay, guys, terms and conditions apply. Please press like and remember to subscribe for more content. Until the next video, stay safe, stay frosty. It's bloody cold outside. <laughs>